just a quick update on the electrified shop press. Had to get it out this morning. I'm working on a three-point hitch for a garden tractor and I need to take some quarter inch steel plate that I have previously in a vise with great effort, a vise and a pipe wrench and a long cheater. I bent it to this profile and it turns out that I need a much different profile. So this is the profile produced with the shop press with zero effort. This is something that I struggled with for 10 minutes um, a couple years back. So today I'm first going to be flattening the bend out of here to get it back to a flat condition and then I'll be applying this dog leg like so. So got the press out, plugged it in and hit the button. That's a lot easier than a sweating and grunting. As I mentioned in the intro video to making this, it's the kind of work that it would just be so time consuming using the handle that you just wouldn't even consider. incredibly more time consuming. Alright, so now we got this little bit of a bow and we'll... Oh, that's much better. Alright, that'll do. Okay, so now, you may have noticed this uh, head. This is a cast iron dumbbell uh, weight that I bored to fit the, the jack pad. And then tap uh, a little hole for a quarter twenty of a set screw and it's a real tight fit so it barely falls off anyway and then I stuck it in the mill and cut a three-eighths groove in it and into the three-eighths groove we can put this a 90 degree press brake die I'm not sure you know this is the ram part the other parts is the of the receiver. Uh, are they both a die? Is the bottom one a die and the top one is a... I don't know. Anyway, I made that. Just some heavy angle iron. Weld it up into a V shape that you see. I V'd out the bottom of this V with the bandsaw and with the, an angle grinder a little bit. Because, you know, that they have that curved webbing in through there. Now we're ready to make a dog leg. So to do the dog leg, kind of choose an arbitrary position here for the very first bend. I just need to leave enough sticking out and then I'll cut some off. And I need to have it um, square to the to the break die. And let's see. I'm just estimating a 45 degree bend and when in doubt I'm going a smidgen past because of the springiness of the steel. So there is our 45 degree bend and then I found from trial and error that basically to get the next bend right that I should with this particular die, make it as tight as I can. Which is to say, to rest it right there on that edge of that lip. And take it down until it has produced a straight dog leg. And there is dog leg number one. Now we do the same thing on the opposite end.
and there's our second dog leg. Now, what these should do is they should meet like so to where this two inch square tube is gonna be captured between them in a way that it can rotate. So this is a what will function as a universal joint. This piece can rotate here and there will be a steel barrel that can rotate inside there. So it functions as a universal joint. When the hydraulic arm comes up and pulls the three point lift arms up, this is for the linkage to pull the lift arms up. But anyway, there it is, the electrically operated press. It makes things possible that otherwise would not be. Works like a charm. I'm grateful I've got it. And hey, thanks for watching.